Every time I come in here, I'm like, someone's in here. So this mama has a little bit of free time. My mom is here watching Cooper. Um, I told her I'm gonna try to do this in like an hour. So I have like an hour to film. So we are going to speed clean this camper. So my original plan was to power wash the outside of it. It is so bad looking, but there are lots of wildfires going on right now in Canada. And we are here in New York and the air quality is so bad. So they're saying do not be outside. So we are gonna stay in the camper today and just work on the inside of it. I stole some gloves from Connor's truck and I'm gonna throw these on. Um, the old owner had a bunch of bags of mothballs hanging in here to make sure that no mice got in because he was keeping this on a bunch of land that he had. And so when we bought it, like the first thing I did was take out all of the mothball bags, but the camper still smells really, really strong with mothballs. So. I just don't want my hands to smell like it in case I have to run in and feed Cooper because um, I think that's going to make him a little angry. I don't know why I keep getting so freaked out. I feel like there's somebody in this camper. Like, I don't know what it is, but every time I come in here, I'm like, someone's in here. I, I don't know what the feeling is, but I'm like scared to open up all of these things because I'm like, ah, it just freaks me out. I don't know why. I'm being such a weird baby about it, but I'm just like, ugh. I'm a little too nervous to go through this. Again, I'm being just silly, but we're going to leave that. So let me start going through this area. Rummy can rummy cub. Rummy cub? I don't know how to say that, but there's a game in here. Um, Honey, our other camper, had tons of games in it. Why does this freak me out so much? I feel like it's like a coffin and there's just gonna be somebody in there. Uh, how do I put it down? Ow! Oh my gosh. Uh. I'm just gonna leave it so I don't break anything. Oh my gosh finding these all over the place. Oh, we have some new lights here. That's great. I don't know what this is. I thought it was Connor adhesive, okay. It's been a total of like 15 minutes and I already miss Cooper so much. I just want to go inside and like go squeeze him. everything about the camper that's awesome does anybody know what this is oh i kept thinking it was like a wine rack or something just because like the way this looks like maybe like wine goes there but now i'm seeing this was a piece that it was just a decorative thing and it just broke off okay all right so over here there's so much stuff that he left us there's a cover for the roof a whole brand new cover for the camper. Um, there's like some sheets and bedding. This I think is for the roof. Oh, a Bible. Oh, I do not have the strength that I had before. Having a baby. 
just ran in and checked on little Cooper. He's on my mom's sleeping right now. So cute. Um, but the last thing I need to do for today is I want to like actually clean everything in here. So I just got some spray and I got our little vacuum. This vacuum is amazing. It's like one of the DeWalt um, battery pack vacuums. So you just have to recharge it. And it's literally Connor's favorite thing ever because it's just so easy to like bring with you all over. Um, so we're going to work on scrubbing everything down in here. I'm not going to get like too crazy with cleaning it only because I'm going to start ripping everything apart very soon. Um, probably next week. All right. But I'm a little grossed out. <laughs> but this has a hole in it and there are some mouse droppings over here so i think i'm going to take these out just to keep it clean i was kind of like not sure if i wanted to keep the cushions anyway or if i wanted to replace them because with honeys i like deep cleaned them and it was so much work and i feel like i could have just bought cushions and obviously diy the whole thing but i want to like also have the finishes be a little bit nicer is what I'm trying to say than just trying to make things work because I really think we're going to keep this camper for a while and like get a lot of use out of it. So I just don't want things to be inconvenient. So we're going to put these cushions outside until further notice and decide if we want to keep them or what. Um, a lot of people on Facebook Marketplace are always looking for these cushions, so I could always put them in there and see if I don't want them. So, I just thought about it, and I definitely think I'm going to get rid of the cushions, because I want to keep this, like, really clean for Cooper being in here, and I think the, like, most sanitary clean thing to do would be to get rid of these and just get new cushions for them. I don't think I'm going to get cushions with backs. I think I'm just going to get a bottom cushion. I've seen some cute things, so we'll try that. to a sleeper um i think i thought it did maybe it doesn't um let's see does it not why did i think that this converted okay yes it does i'm just trying to figure out if i want to oh that's like so convenient to figure out what I should do, I asked you guys in the last video too, if I should keep the stuff or get new because this like, it feels super comfy. The issue is that there were so many mothballs in here and anything that has fabric, I'm just scared that it's like so soaked in the smell because when I come out of this camper, I reek like mothballs and I have to like immediately go to the shower and like wash my hair, put the clothes in the wash. So I'm just nervous that it's going to smell like mothballs and it's never going to feel clean in here. Like it's always just going to feel icky. Um, we are taking out all the flooring and we're going to be putting all new flooring in. So I'm just scared that this is going to feel really icky. And I know I can clean it. We tried that with honey stuff, but the issue was honey's uh, cushions and stuff still ended up smelling and it just took a lot of effort so I don't know the only like thing only fabric stuff in here that I'm concerned about is this and then the two chairs over here and then everything else is getting ripped out so it doesn't really matter but I don't know what to do
it looks so clean in here now. Having all the extra junk out, I feel like really just helped to make this look a lot better. Um, next time I'm probably going to hang, or actually maybe I'll keep the door off because it probably would be easier for renovations. And I don't know how to put this thing down still. I got to figure that out. Um, but I'm so excited now to start working on this. All my ideas are starting to flow. It's going to be so much fun. Whew. Okay. I am going to call it quits for today because this is my first day back of like true work i have not done stuff like this since i guess i did it when i was pregnant but not since having him and i'm just like out of shape i'm exhausted the mothball smells getting to me i can start to smell the smoke from outside coming in so i just don't think it's very smart to stay in here and keep working um i'm going to bring i'm going to turn the air purifier back on in here and just let it all oh my gosh that's what it is the sunroofs are open Ugh, and I can't reach it. Oh my gosh. I was like, why is this smell still coming in? <sighs> okay. Well, that was dumb. But anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts and ideas are. I feel like my next video is definitely going to be like demoing everything out. Um, and you know, taking all the old stuff out. I'm trying to figure out, do I take the wallpaper out or do I just go over the wallpaper? I'm going to be putting new wallpaper in here. Um, so I just can't figure out, do I wallpaper over it with the border or do I take it out? I'm nervous that the border is going to show through the new wallpaper and you'll be able to see like a little bit of this, the difference of like the height or the thickness of it rather. But I'm not really sure. That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed cleaning with me and getting this camper looking nice and sparkling clean. But I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.